Hello, in this video we want to look at the amount of substance and the mole concept. So let's start by looking at an example. We have example number 1. When 100 cm cube of 0.1 molar sodium hydroxide is mixed with 100 cm cube of 0.15 molar sodium hydroxide, what will be the concentration of the resulting solution? So let's go ahead and look at the solution to this problem. So firstly, we were given 100 cm cube, that is uh, the volume of sodium hydroxide, the first one given to us is 100 cm cube, which when we convert to dm cube, we divide by 1000, will give us 0 0.1 dm cube. Now, we're told that it has a concentration, that is the concentration of the first sodium hydroxide, is 0 0.1 molar now it was we it was mixed with another solution another sodium hydroxide solution which has a volume of let me make this v2 so this is v1 c1 so this has a volume of 100 cm cube as well which is equal to 0 0.1 dm cube and then this one has a concentration so c2 Has a concentration of 0 0.15 molar okay so from here we're asked to find the concentration of the resulting solution so the first thing we need to do is to find the mole of the 0 0.1 molar concentration sodium hydroxide and find the mole of the 0 0.15 molar concentration and then we add the two moles that will give us the total mole present in the resulting solution Together with the total volume of the liquid, we can go ahead and find the concentration of the resulting solution. So let's do that. So I'm going to use N1 as the mole for the first sodium hydroxide, which is the 0 0.1 molar sodium hydroxide. So N1 will be equal to concentration multiplied by volume. This is equal to our concentration is 0 0.1 this is c1 multiplied by v1 then 0 0.1 multiplied by the v1 in dm cube is also 0 0.1 so if you if i multiply 0 0.1 by 0 0.1 this will give me 0 0.01 mole so that is the amount of mole present in the first sodium hydroxide solution so let me find a second mole that is the mole present in 0 0.15 molar concentration solution. So that will be C2 multiplied by V2. And that will be equal to 0 0.15 concentration multiplied by 0 0.1. That is the volume. And this will give me 0 0.015 mole. Now, the total mole, that is the total, sorry, total mole will be equal to N1 plus N2 which is equal to 0 0.01 0 0.01 plus 0 0.015 and this will give me 0 0.0.025 moles okay now let's look at the total volume for the resulting solution because we added 100 cm cube to 100 cm cube, that is the volume of the first sodium hydroxide and the second sodium hydroxide, we'll be having a resulting solution of 100 plus 100, which is equal to 200 cm cube or 0 0.2 dm cube. Okay, you can just add a 0 0.1, 0 0.1, or you can just add a 100, 100 and convert it later into dm cube. Now that I have the total amount of substance, that is mole, and then the total volume, I can go ahead and calculate the concentration of the resulting solution. So let me go ahead and calculate that. So the concentration of the resulting solution, that is concentration, will be given to us as mole over volume. Now, our mole, which is our mole, total mole, so let me make this N total, and then over V total. Okay, so this is our N total, and then this is our V total. 
So my total mole is 0 0.025 on my total volume is 0 0.2. So 0 0.025 on 0 0.2 will give me 0 0.125 mole per dm cube as my final answer for this question. Example number two. I have 20 cm cube of 0 0.1 molar HCl is neutralized by 18 cm cube of sodium hydroxide solution. And to calculate the concentration of the sodium hydroxide solution. So let's go ahead and look at this solution to this problem. Now we were told that we have an acid which is HCl and it has a volume, so volume of HCl is equal to 20 cm cube which we have to convert to dm cube and that will give us 0 0.02 dm cube and then the concentration of the hcl is 0 0.1 molar okay now we're told that it was neutralized by 18 cm cube of sodium hydroxide so the volume of sodium hydroxide volume of sodium hydroxide is 18 cm cube which is equal to 0 0.018 dm cube now we're told or we're asked to find the concentration of the sodium hydroxide which is what we don't know okay so the first thing i'll do from here is to find or to write down the equation between the neutralization reaction between HCl and sodium hydroxide. So I have HCl, which will be aqueous in this case, plus sodium hydroxide, which is also aqueous in this case, will give me sodium chloride or salt, which will be solid, plus water, H2O, which will be liquid. So this is my reaction or my neutralization reaction. Now, if you look at this, the mole ratio of HCl to the mole ratio of sodium hydroxide. From this equation, we can see that the coefficient of the HCl here is 1. The coefficient of sodium hydroxide is also 1. So the mole ratio is 1 is to 1, which implies that the mole of HCl is equal to the mole of sodium hydroxide now if this holds true it means that mole we know mole is equal to concentration multiplied by volume so it means that the concentration of HCl concentration of HCl let me make that C1 and then volume of uh, HCl V1 concentration of uh, sodium hydroxide C2 volume of sodium hydroxide V2 so it means C1 multiplied by V1 will be equal to C2 multiplied by V2. Note that the C2 in this case is the concentration of the sodium hydroxide that we were asked to find. So from here, I know that my C1, which is the concentration of the acid, is 0 0.02 multiplied by the volume, which is 0 0.1. 0 0.1 is equal to C2 multiplied by the volume of the sodium hydroxide which is 0 0.018 so from here 0 0.02 multiplied by 0 0.1 will give me 0 0.002 and it's equal to 0 0.018 c2 okay so i multiply these two it becomes 0 0.018 c2 so i divide both sides by 0 0.018 0 0.018 I cancel here so my concentration or C2 will be equal to 0 0.02 over 0 0.018 will give me 0 0.111 as my concentration okay so molar so therefore my concentration of sodium hydroxide in this particular case is equal to 0 0.111 0 0.111 more per dm cube so thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next video bye bye
hello guys and in this video we want to look at amount of substance and the mole concept part two so let's go ahead and look at the first example that we have over here so example number one a 250 cm cube solution contains 14.63 grams of salt we are to calculate the concentration of the solution in mole per dm cube given that the formula mass of the salt is 58.5 gram per mole all right, so let's go ahead and write down the solution to this problem. So we're told that the solution contains 250 cm cube of salt. So our volume of salt, okay, volume of salt is equal to 250 cm cube, which when we convert to dm cube will be 0 0.25 dm cube. Now we're also told that it contains 14.63 grams of salt. So our mass of salt is equal to 14.63 grams. Now we're also given in the formula, we're told that the formula mass of the salt or the molar mass of the salt is 58.5 gram per mole. So it means capital M, which is the molar mass or the formula mass of the salt is 58.5 gram per mole and we're asked to find the concentration of the salt in which we don't know in mole per dm cube all right so let's go ahead and look at how we solve this problem we know from the definition of concentration that concentration is equal to mole over volume but in our case over here, we don't have mole directly, but we know that mole is equal to mass over molar mass. So if I substitute this back in place of the mole over here, my concentration will become mass over molar mass multiplied by volume. This in turn is equal to my mass given in the question is 14.63 on my molar mass is 58.5 multiplied by my volume which is 0 0.25 dm cube so the final answer if i multiply everything that i have over here i am going to get here will be 14.63 the denominator will give me 14.625 and this is equal to 1.00 mole per dm cube so therefore, the concentration of the salt is equal to 1 mole per dm cube. Alright, let's go ahead and solve another problem. Example number 2. A solution was prepared by dissolving 2.1 gram of sodium hydroxide in 250 cm cube of solution. What is the concentration of the solution in mole per dm cube, given that the uh, molar mass or the relative mass of uh, sodium is 23 that of oxygen is 16 and hydrogen is 1 all right so let's go ahead and look at the solution to this problem so the question is saying a solution was prepared by dissolving a mass of 2.1 grams of sodium hydroxide so we have the mass of sodium hydroxide given to us in the question is 2.1 grams and it was dissolved in uh, 250 cm cube. So the volume of sodium hydroxide was 250 cm cube, which when we convert to dm cube, we divide by 1000. That will give us 0 0.25 dm cube. Okay. Now, the question is saying, what is the concentration of the solution? So the concentration... Of sodium hydroxide we do not know and then before we go on let's calculate the molar mass of sodium hydroxide so the molar mass here will be sodium plus oxygen plus hydrogen now sodium is 23 plus oxygen is 16 and hydrogen is 1 so if I add all of this I'm going to get 40 gram per mole as my molar mass now from here i can go ahead and calculate the concentration of the sodium hydroxide i know that concentration is equal to mole over volume but 
my mole is also equal to mass over molar mass as we saw in the previous example so my concentration now becomes mass over molar mass multiplied by volume and this is equal to my mass given to me is 2.1 on my molar mass is 40 multiplied by my volume which is 0 0.25 so i have 2.1 on 40 multiplied by 0 0.25 will give me 10 and so 2.1 divided by 10 will give me 0 0.21 mole per dm cube so the concentration of sodium hydroxide for this particular example is equal to 0 0.21 mole per dm cube so thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next video bye bye